I want to show you a visual tool called UseTrace that does similar to what I've talked about a lot with Codeception, which programmers will use. And this is for non-programmers. So we're going to start by clicking, I've logged in. We're going to start by clicking New Trace. And come to New Trace, it's going to pick up in a browser, in this case Firefox. And it's going to get started by pulling up the website that I've told it to. And now we're going to start recording our efforts, right? So we will start by scrolling down the browser. We'll get to the login and click login. When we do that, we're going to put in our information. And what you'll notice is it's collecting the data of what I'm doing here as I'm, as I'm typing it. So it's storing all of that information. And as I click login, it will register all that. It'll log into the back end theme, at which point I can come and click on posts and see the list of posts here. Because I am in a particular uh, user that only has roles and access to seeing what it is that I see, I don't see all the other posts. But I'm going to click Add New. As I do that, I'm going to type in sample post. I can, of course, adjust any of the data, metadata about this, in which case I'm going to come back here and put it in a fake category. And I'm going to hit publish. I come back out to the site, and I see the site. And I can even run a, uh, a visual check. Right? I come back over here to this. Uh, check to see if the element is there, and I can see if this text is there. All right, and when I'm done, I can run that entire trace, and we'll see it start from the beginning, and it'll go to the URL, it'll put in the information, it'll log in. It's doing all this automatically. It'll see the post, it'll come in, it'll put a new post there. Now, of course, what we're going to see is that this post is going to be named the same. But there it goes, it just published. And we get at the bottom here a green line, green light, uh, thumbs up sign, right? So now what I can do is I can come up here and I can exit this editor. When I come to take a look at all traces, there's my new trace. If I want, I can make copies of it. Right, copy the trace. I can run a whole series of traces. Uh, there's a whole lot of options I can, but you'll see that I've already run it once, and uh, and I get the green light. I can also add tags to it, right? So if I if I just say this is, um, you know, and again you you might do it differently, but this is a logged in task, right? Um, then I can see, I can start, and I can, I can go and rename this, uh, but you can start seeing, I can create a whole series of different tests, those which are logged in, those which aren't, uh, and a bunch of other options from there. That's use trace.